we go. Hi, welcome back to Whiskey and Sunshine. Recently, a company sent us this drone. That these X-Pac drones there are several different sizes and types. This one is a X-Pac 10. It's supposed to be their mini camera drone. It does have a camera. You can use it through an app to connect to your phone to use it to take pictures and videos. But uh, I'm not sure. We're going to have to get into it a little further. You may be able to take pictures and only have to use your phone for videos. You may be able to take pictures without the phone. But I really don't know that much about drones. Um, my son flies them. I used to fly radio control planes, so maybe I'll have a leg up. And I am somebody who has slightly less than no experience with a drone. So, that being said, let's unbox this thing, see what's in here. Okay, what do we got here? Okay, looks like we got a... Here's the instructions. Hmm. It says age is 14 and up. We're going to put that to the test. I may have been a long time, since I've been 14, but... I guarantee you there's some 14 year old kids that can run electronics better than I can. So it looks like we got some uh, guards for the propellers, some spare propeller blades, some spare propeller blade screws. And we have the, the controller. And the first thing I'm going to say I notice about this is it is a video game controller. I have played some video games, so maybe that will, uh, maybe that'll help. Controls do seem to be well marked as to what each button does and what function they do. Battery connector, and that looks like this must be the folder for the phone, yeah. Yeah, so you put your phone in there and you can hold your phone. Controller looks well made. We've got... The drone itself, as you can see, is very, very small. It uh, fits in the palm of my hand. It could easily drop it in the pocket. And it's actually called a mini. So I'm guessing that's a uh, selling point for this. You can stick it in your pocket and fire it up anytime you feel like. Blades seem to just be loose. Evidently, that's so that if they hit something, they don't get broken, which makes sense. Centrifugal force will keep them out where they're supposed to be anyway. And it looks like we've got USB charging cable. I'm assuming these are batteries. I think it has but, three extra batteries with okay. it so that it would be like extended flying. And a, a little tiny Phillips screwdriver to do all the work. Everything looks to be all little tiny Phillips screws. So I'm going to finish putting this together, I guess. Let me turn this on. References forward. Then backward, it'll go flat, and then it should go solid. Bingo. That Hold means these to the lower left. Okay. Now, that said that that was forward, but it's not. That is. So we're gonna go like this. See if it'll come home. It's supposed to come home. <laughs> I don't think it's going to come home. I'm going to land. Okay, so I guess what I've noticed, my first impression, it takes a little getting used to uh, 
whether the back is actually forward or what I would consider the back. And once you put it in your auto takeoff mode, it will go up and hold a certain altitude. And you need to use your trim buttons to get it trimmed so it's not drifting. Once you get it so it'll stay in place, you can start using these two sticks to fly it. This one here, that just controls the motion horizontally of the drone. So if you want it to fly to the side, you hold it this way, it goes this way. That doesn't turn the drone. If you want to turn the drone, you've got to use this. That will turn it, then you can push forward, then it will fly forward in that direction. If you just want to glide that way sideways, you can use just one stick. But up and down, you have to use this stick. So it's really not like um, model airplanes and stuff that I've flown before. It's actually more like a video game, to be honest with you. If you, if you can play a video game, you could probably fly this drone like crazy. Next step, we got to get the camera working and take some pictures and see how the video and stuff is. All right, so we flight tested it, crashed it a couple times, nothing serious. Um, hasn't harmed it. Not at all. This last time it, it got a little dose of snow, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and take the battery out of it. You do have to be careful when you switch the batteries on these. There's a little tab you have to pull out on, and that little lithium battery slides out. Comes with three of them, so if you charge them all up ahead of time, you should get quite a while, you know, a flight time out of it. Uh, the thing I have noticed, it does seem to pull more battery, more juice out of the battery if you're using a video camera. Um, also, I think it's better if you've got the controller connected to it and you're connected to it through a wireless device like your phone or an iPad for the camera to save the pictures. Uh, use the buttons on the controller to turn the camera on and off because I think once the person with the regular phone or iPad hits the button to record, I think they're automatically taking control of the drone because uh, you can you can fly this with just your phone without even using a controller. Once you download the app, and then you can fly it directly from your phone, from an iPad, or whatever. Like I said, I'm new to this whole thing. I've, I've flown radio control planes years ago. Um, this isn't harder. Uh, it's actually easier. It's more like a video game. And it's not as big and as heavy, so it doesn't get damaged. Takes pictures and video. Not the most stable video in the world, but, you know, if you want to play around with drones and you learn how to use one, you can't get into it much cheaper than this. And it works. It actually does work. Doesn't take a, you know, engineer to put the thing together or fly it. Believe me, if I can do it, anybody can do it. How are the instructions? Are they easy to follow? Uh, the instructions were pretty good, mostly. The uh, They didn't mention anything about charging the batteries. Uh, there's a green light that comes on the USB charger to let you know when the battery's fully charged. They didn't mention that. Uh, but it comes with three of these batteries, so you can have them all charged up, you know, before you go out to, to play. And you can actually fly for quite a while. But uh, everything was pretty simple and straightforward. There was no... Uh, panic moments where I needed to go and research anything. Everything I needed was right in the instructions. There's plenty of spare parts included, which I flew this into a tree and into the house a couple times today. Uh, no damage. It's not very heavy, so it, 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 it really can't hurt itself that bad. I do recommend putting on the guards for the rotors because I think those would take a lot more of a beating if you didn't, and there's no reason not to put them on there. You can pop them off if you want to fold it up and drop it in your pocket. It's not a big big issue. Yeah, it has. It comes with uh, three speeds. You can change the speeds while it's in flight, low, high, and middle. Um, has the home button where you can switch and have it come right back to the spot that it took off from, so it does have that. It's not technically a GPS drone, but it does have a gyro, and uh, all it does when you push the home button is it follows the same path back to approximately where it started. So it basically will repeat where it went except backwards and that'll get you pretty close back to where you are, where you started. Then all you need to do is just keep hitting down for lower 
It will settle down and you land it pretty easy, really. If I can do it, anybody can do it. So I say, why not? If you're into it and you want to give it a try, try the X-Pac 10. I think it, I think it's, uh, it's kind of neat.